Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira and today we have this beautiful palette and I'm going to create a look with this palette that you can see right now. We are also going to see whether this palette it's a pastel palette whether it works well on its own or whether it requires a white base because as we know whenever we want to use pastel colors it's better to put them on the white base that way the color payoff will be much better so let's find out and without further ado let's begin I already applied on this eye some of the P. Lewis base in white color. So we're going to see the difference of how the eyeshadows from this palette apply without any base and with the white base people say that if you really want your pastel eyeshadows work you need to put them on a white base let's open this beauty and we've got 12 different colors and yes they are pastel colors except for this one which is a really nice touch i like that there is one deep shade in it so if you are not feeling exactly light light eye look you can still Still dipping it with this wood yes it's called wood deep brown eyeshadow I really like the mood of this palette and I do think that it corresponds well with its name spring dragon these kind of colors like pastel green yellow violet blue and even this pink they really remind me of spring and it's spring right now so that's why I decided to get this one out of all three that came out we've got some mats here and today i'm thinking that my look will be put inside a pink frame but inside the pink frame i will also have some purple and green usually if you have brighter uh, colors it's not a good idea to match those uh, because you might just create some gray mess on your eyelid but since they are pastel colors and they are not very bright maybe it's going to be looking okay and i think for a spring look this combination is pretty cute i'm going to start with something fluffy like a um, blending brush and I'm going to go into Blossom, this one. By the way, another thing I really like about this palette is the names of the colors. So they have Blossom, also they have names in Chinese. The first one is Chun. It's supposed to pronounce like that because in Chinese we have four different tones. You're supposed to pronounce it like you're singing it at a slightly higher note than you usually speak. Chun translates into spring in English. And then we have Long. This one, the only metallic shade here. And it's translated as dragon. Also this one. So we have Blossom, peach pink, and also this pastel violet or purple which is flower in chinese is hua just like spring it has to be pronounced like that because that's how they pronounce it in chinese i mean maybe my chinese is not perfect but this is the theory that's how you should pronounce it anyways let's go into blossom why do i digress all the time i will be putting it on both eyes right away uh, by the way, this makeup is going to be very easy to do, except for there's going to be a graphic element that I'm going to create with a pink eyeliner. On the other eye as well, thing with the base is that sometimes you need to spread it out again because you can see how it kind of like gets into the crease. And... The idea is that it's supposed to be evenly spread. Otherwise, we're going to mess the whole thing up. Right? Blossom again for this eye. Okay, they are definitely different. So I think it's an interesting experiment to see how these eyeshadows behave themselves in different conditions. But also it doesn't mean that this one is better or this one is better. I really like the way it looks on a skin color. And I do think that this one looks like a little bit fresher 
but both of them are quite beautiful. Now I'm going to put the same shade on the under eye as well right away, but I'm going to grab a different brush. Okay, like so, and same thing here. Cute. Now with different brush again, so more of a flat brush. It's not like super flat, but it's flatter. I'm going to build the form. I'm going to connect the lower lid and the upper lid. Just like following the direction of the eye. It's definitely not going to be as bright as on this eye. So this is what we need. That is our frame. I mean, if I had a chance, I would definitely collect all of the Odin's Eye eyeshadow palette. But I bought the whole Christmas collection and I didn't want to spend so much money again. So I decided like I really want to get one of them, one out of three. This color story spoke the most to me and I found it most refreshing because in other two palettes, I don't want to say anything against them. Their color stories are beautiful too. But I feel like some of the colors they were repeating the previous colors from other eyeshadow palettes this one just looked completely new to me as well now i'm going to grab a different brush again and i'm going to get this one hua flower in chinese mm. again i need to spread out the base so in this way it's a bit more work right this is such a cute color. Definitely the color is still there, so it's very good quality of pastels, but you need to apply a couple of layers if you really want the opacity. But yeah, they work. They work even without white base. And now it's time to get some green. And we're going to put it over here. almost up to purple. I'm not gonna put them really close together because we are going to put some shimmer over here. I'm only going to be doing two shimmers today. Moss over here in the middle of my eyelid and then Dew, which sounds like the kind of eyeshadow you should put in the corner over your eye. So I will be putting it in the corner of my eye. Let me use my finger first. Moss. very sparkly here yeah, i'm going to spread it out a little bit with the brush what a beautiful sparkle it gives like very delicate i mean this kind of colors definitely would make you look younger they just give this young vibe okay so this is basically a full look we can add well, um, I'm going to add dew, not only in the corner of my eye, but also like a little bit under because I feel like there should be some brightness here as well. Very bright. Here you go. You've got yourself quite a bright look without it feeling heavy. I mean, like I did expect the quality of this palette to be really good, but I did not expect the colors to be quite bright for pastels. For me, these pastels are quite bright. Even where I didn't use the white base, I, you know, if you think that there is a big difference between uh, putting these pastel colors on a white base or just putting them on skin color concealer. Let me know. Okay, so now it's the most difficult part. Before this, everything was easy and it took minimum time. But now what we're going to do is to apply eyeliner. I'm so scared. Okay, so first I wanted to still be talking to you while I'm doing the eyeliner. But then I decided, no, the good eyeliner, especially the most difficult one. It's not the most difficult, sorry. What am I saying? So just the difficult style of eyeliner requires silence. So I'm just going to put on some music and I'm going just to show you what I'm doing. I'm not going to be talking at all during this process. Okay, 
So this is it. I came up with this little design by myself today. And obviously you can pick a different color of the eyeliner or you can go with a different design. But I feel like pastel eye looks, they are really good when you combine them with like different color eyeliners. So I'm going to finish the other eye. I'm going to draw the same kind of design, but by myself. And I will come back to you and show you the final look. Okay, so it's getting dark again. By the way, this is the final look. I get only to record on the weekend and usually in the morning I still go to the gym. There are CrossFit games going on. So we are doing the open right now. So I really have to be there. It's not like I can be like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym for like half an hour early in the morning and then get to record. No, I, I gotta go there at specific time and stay there for a while as well. So I only get to do it at this time and as I mentioned before my light is the natural light coming from the window so you can see that it changes throughout the video but anyways I think you can see very well the look I created today I applied the eyeliner on the other eye as well you can see I added a little bit of a beige eyeliner around the lines just so they look a little bit more interesting but it's not a must at all I decided to go with this kind of design because it represents spring as well in spring we get like really nice fresh breeze so so this kind of represents the movement of the air, the movement of the wind. I really like this combination of three shades. I think I'll be using them. Tons moss just gives this like really beautiful transition. It's a very delicate shimmer. Also, I really liked dew for the inner corner. For some reason, looking at it, it associates for me with the wedding. I don't know why. The other colors that I didn't try today, like rain, flora, seedling, and wood, I'm going to put some swatches here. These colors are beautiful. This color story is amazing. I'm loving this palette. I love the artwork. And I purchased a bundle, which includes also three lip products. One of them is matte, and I think it's the only matte in the whole legendary diversum. In this bundle for Spring Dragon, there are two lip glosses, Buttercup and Dahlia. So Buttercup is what you can see like closer to the corners of my mouth so it's a really delicate lip gloss it's almost color of your lips I feel it's the kind of lip gloss that you would allow a kid to wear because it just gives a tiny bit of brightness to your lips and make them look shiny and fresh but it doesn't really add that much color I'm really loving it and I've been using it every single day and then Dahlia is a bit brighter what I saw Judy who is behind this palette together with Odin's eye. Thanks to her, we've got this beautiful palette. First, she would be putting Buttercup and then a little bit of Dahlia in the center. And that creates a more natural, interesting and full look for your lips. So that's it for today. Please like it, subscribe if you haven't yet, share it maybe with someone else. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.